so it's Friday and the end of the work week is here. So I got a job in the booth and I want to use my old uh, DeVilbus uh, Tech the Clear Coat gun, guys, with a 1.3 in it. So I haven't used this gun in a while. I've been using the DV1, but I want to try out my old uh, Tech the Clear Coat gun again and show you guys how it works. You know, these are really good guns and it sprays a lot different than the DV1. It's a lot faster. It puts more product out. So you have to be a little bit faster with it. You can't, you know, dial in your clear as much. You got to kind of re re uh, rely on some of the clear to flow out for you because it puts on more paint than the DV1 does. So it's a nice gun if you're into doing speed and you got a lot of stuff to paint. Some of these guys I see with these big tunnel booths, these would be a good gun because you could just fly through everything and you don't really have to stay in one spot and watch everything you're doing with it. You can just paint it normally and move on. So stay tuned as we clear this job in the booth. I got a uh, Audi in here, I'm gonna clear it. It's a pearl white and uh, we're gonna go ahead and clear this one guys. So I wanted to show you this jump gun in action. So stay tuned and we'll watch this one. So here's the car guys, it's an Audi SUV, pearl white, and I uh, painted the side of this car. It had a little damage on the side, on the door, and a little on the quarter, and, a, and the lower molding on the body side. So here's me putting the first coat of clear on. So the, you know, the Tecna clear coat gun is a good gun. It actually is a lot faster than DV1. It puts more material out and you can, you don't have to overlap as much. So you can move a lot faster. And uh, it's a good gun, it sprays good. It's got a 1.3 in it, and I'm using the CC200 clear, UH90 hardener, and the US4. And uh, you just gotta move a lot faster. So I've been spraying a lot with the DV1, and sometimes I like to go back to my old gun just to see the comparison after spraying with something new, because it really lets you know really what you got. You know, they made that gun a lot more precision, the DV1, with the lighter feel, it fits in your hand nice, and it's got a lot more precision to it than this older style gun so i just like the um i like the old guns and i definitely like my new dv1 so i just wanted to try this one out because i hadn't sprayed with it in a while but it puts on a nice coat you just got to move quick because it'll put more material out than that dv1 so that's the first coat of clear i'm showing you guys now i didn't get crazy because i haven't sprayed with it in a while and like i said it hoses it on a lot more than those dv1s but this gun's good if you got a lot of painting to do. You really just go in there and do your thing and it'll come out nice. You don't have to really take your time and, and go back to back and do a big overlap on it. It just flows out and it kind of relies on more of the clear just laying out on its own than the gun actually atomizing it because it doesn't break it up as fine to me as the DB1 does. But it's definitely a good gun. I've had it a long time and it's you know, like I said, always the, the DeVilbus is definitely a good stand-up gun and a strong gun. It's always reliable, so they don't really break ever. And uh, like I said, just wanted to do a video on this one. I seen it in my uh, gun cabinet and said, you know what, let me try it out. Because I like to spray these to see how good my new one is. So definitely a long way the DV1 came. And uh, I'm real happy with it now that I got the DV1. So it makes me appreciate it more now that I'm actually... I got it going back and trying this one out so but I'm finishing up this one now and clearing it and it came out nice you know it looked I wouldn't say it looks as good as the uh, DV1 just because I didn't really put it on too heavy I just kind of put two nice you know medium coats on it and then just baked it and it came out nice but you can just fine tune more with the DV1 it lets you really lay it down how you want to because it atomizes so nice. So here's the job all said and done. Came out nice and clean, and uh, I was happy with it. So guys, I hope you guys liked the video on the old uh, Tecna uh, clear coat gun. Still a good gun, and uh, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, guys.